Hey. You know they almost kill someone as soon as episode three. <laughs> My webcam isn't on your end, right? Nope. I don't remember. Oh, I forgot. You were supposed to fix that. Fuck. Nah, I tend to stream record in my underwear when recording with you, so let's just leave that as it is. Oh, so this is impossible mode, a special challenge mode. Completing it will earn a unique suit and weapon. This one has the same damage settings as hard difficulty, but auto saves are disabled. Only one save slot is available and one life. Dying prompts a full restart, continuing on hard difficulty. So permadeath, and you'll have one save. That means you can only save at the halfway point of the game, which is gonna be a bitch. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean the halfway point? Um, because you only get one save, and you have to beat the entire game on one save. Without dying. <laughs> That's how Diablo does that. Yeah, fuck that. We're doing hard mode. Actually controversial. We're this scene right here. Oh, I just wish I could talk to you someone. wanna know why? It's all... Why? Apparently they made her... Here. Because they made her I uglier. And I'm like, dude, she's in her 40s. What do you expect her to look like? It's strange. Such a little thing. I'm assuming they didn't mess with the textures and just the resolution they messed with. Yeah. Nope, they, it's a full First remake. Really? Five yeah. Minutes, uh, you For example, you never could see. Still look a bit warm. Because really you could never see Isaac's Isaac face in the original game. Turned down, but six months really? apart. Yeah. This calls. is this is a full it's full rough. scale remake. Easy to say the wrong thing. It's about to boot up my copy. I don't like you. Who I was my girlfriend over him and reciting security protocols. I actually thought he was wearing a so you keep saying. Here we go. Nice clean re entry. Oh no, let's stop. A million times for it. Welcome to Egypt 7. Imagine six months staring at that chunk of rock. I know all these people are more than like we're going to die. That's paradise. Egypt 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. It's Some dead space. What do you expect? <laughs> it's a hard one. That's part of Where is she? Yep. Baptism by fire. There. Yep. Confirming visual contact with USG Ishimura. What a beauty. Biggest the same cracker exact in class. Class. Yeah, they got them all back. Here's like the thing. I think the voice direction is a bit off, so though. Dark? Because be they had the lines. old actors come yeah. back and redo all the lines. I'll get us into hailing range. Someone's got to be waiting up for us. They just need to do that game. They can't do just messing with the old lines. track. They wanted to add it. Oh, maybe because they needed. No they probably needed Dolby Digital. Is that what you were thinking? No, it's because they. It's because of the fact they wanted to make Isaac a voice protagonist. And remember, he's a mute in the original game. I ran standard C. In order to make it feel natural, they wanted to redo all the lines with Isaac's actor, Gunnar Wright, aka the definitive Isaac Clark. To do the voice again, and he was clearly happy to do it. He really would like Isaac. This is the emergency his favorite role of the USG Kelly. Dude, Isaac looks like such a millennial. Zoom back Ishimura. over his face. Ishimura, do you copy? He looks like Adam Sandler. <laughs> that's also the next thing that people were pissed off about. That's they changed his face. Here's the thing. That's Gunner's face. That's Gunner Wright's face they put on his model. Someone pick up the damn phone. Is it? Why does he look like Adam Sandler? Because Gunner Wright is in his forties. Probably 50s by now. He's in his 50s by now. No, why do you think he looks so old? No, it looks good with so Blame Gunner Wright. He's aged, man. They put his face in the game. Yeah, we can do this. I'm assuming this is running Unreal 5 if we, don't, if we did that. Nope, their own engine. We're losing control. Oh, wait, I'm forgetting. Most modern video games can complete the creation and can now allow you Okay, I put it at 4,000. And yet my... How do I set the constant? Hold on, let me check something. Great, tech problems on stream. Look at that. Gonna... How do you set the constant? Did you try buying a Mel? No, I'm forgetting that Oblivion is even more gory and that originally got a teen rating. Stasis module, oh. let's go. The dreaded door of murder. Fuck this part of the game. <laughs> well, they're easy to deal with. They are, but they're also irritating. Why the loud noises? In my playthrough, I'm like stuck in like the infirmary section. I can't figure out how to get through the freaking start of it. I love how these guys develop the ability in a slow time. Stasis is a hell of a thing. How do you even... 
I guess it's some massive theory of relativity bullshit. The thing is, though, the game is set 300 years in the future, or 500 years in the future, so... I think we just figure it out at some point. I feel like the only way to effectively travel through space is to affect time. Oh! Sh yeah. Okay, power's back on. Cool. I am Professor Nagabuchi, and I... God, that was my favorite. That's a fa that's a that's a goodie. You need to and find I, that. I was saying his name wrong, and I thought you were doing it on purpose for the bit, but you just did it by accident. And I'm like, that's amazing. Dude, you need to find that clip and post it on your channel. It'll be fucking I have hilarious. That clip. Post it. It'll be fucking <laughs> hilarious. I am Professor Nagabuchi, and I. And I said Nagabuchi uh, like a fucking moron. Dude, it made me happy though. Cause I was literally going for a bit and saying it wrong, and I I didn't know you just read it wrong, and I thought you were going with the bit. I'm like this is amazing. And I'm like I'm gonna tell you about this, and I forgot to tell you about this. Also, oh, is stream working or am I? Just... Whoa! I didn't see you. I forget how tanky these things are. I love what you saw the plasma cutter at you. Like a glorified plasma cutter. It is a plasma cutter. <laughs> Which currently doesn't exist anymore because of the hurricane. Also, a little detail is that if you run for too long, Isaac can have his heart beat just super loud, and that's a really cool detail. You have infinite stamina, don't worry. You have infinite stamina. But if you run for too long, Isaac's heartbeat just starts to pulse. You can hear it. And I'm assuming these fucking things hunt you down. Yeah. No. So what are these things, like an infection? Um, yes and no. It's, 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 it's hard to explain. Hi. I wish they'd remake that could be like I wish they'd remake that could be Strange Journey again. Dude, Strange Journey would be awesome, but it's gonna be hard as balls! Oh, I'm also a fan voice actor. I'm not professional, I do like a lot of fan shit for Minecraft. Yeah, because he's bored. Very bored. Oh yeah, I forgot Dead Space had this thing. It makes going to places way too easy. I forgot that was a thing. So if Skeletor had email, you think he'd use it? Nah, I don't think he would. He's just seeing... You know, I... What is this contraption? If I'm going to face my enemies, I have to do it face to face like a real villain! Because I am undeniably evil! And he doesn't seem like the type Amen. that would know what that is. Like, he would just basically just fangle with it all the time. He would have no Dude, idea how to I, use that I shit. I need to get a role as fucking Skeletor. So for, bad. for a fan voice actor? I'd have so much fun with it. He man, I put several bombs up to this up to this orphanage. What will you do? I have several bombs up my bum! By the power of Grayskull! No, you were supposed to wait, you asshole! Just shoves it right up there. No, you're not supposed to put one of them up there! Until we meet again! Hi! Hey, buddy. Just fucking blast off with people. I feel like I just have a boner for good UIs. Thanks, Atlas. So much five. Dude, dude, Refantazo's UI is just a masterclass in UI. Oh, and that. <laughs> Dude, I'm enjoying the hell out of Refantastic. I remember you were stream. Uh, fun fact, you were streaming it at some point, like yesterday. This is funny. I was streaming last night. I'm like, oh, I have another two hours of the demo left, because I assume it went to the end of the first dungeon. But no. no. Because then I went to a certain day. I'm like, are you fucking serious? You know what's funny? Imagine there's some dumbass that managed to beat the entire game while it's still in the demo somehow. No, you can. You totally can if you have enough MP shit. So that means there's or some you brute force it with the. You can totally just brute force it with the martial art class because they don't need MP. Yeah, not only that. Um, 
with the Though real time. My guess is, you know what they might do? They might also lock the demo line behind the final boss room. Or, or like up to the point where, like, where would they lock? Because you said it's tied to the day, right? Yeah, but they can also have like a soft lock near the final boss room. Like the final boss room with a prologue or some shit. Because you were stuck in the prologue for a hot minute. That's because I was a moron and didn't realize I was supposed to use the front and back mechanics. Oh yeah, it's because, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I just kept getting fucking bodied by this chicken boss that looked like a salary man. And I didn't realize, I, I'm like, oh, I don't need the front and back mechanics. Let's just blitz this thing. Nope, my Pokemon caveman brain didn't realize I was supposed to move the mages to the back. Oh, it's because he was playing an Atlas game. And if you know this, Atlas likes to force you to use mechanics regardless of how insignificant they sound. So... <laughs> hey. My Pokemon caveman brain was like, I do weakness, I do good. That, and it was funny. It was funny as fuck. I was just laughing at this man over and over. And I'm like, this is an Atlas game. They're going to make him use this somehow. So I'm going to wait till he figures it out. <laughs> Do you have any super glue you can send me? Yeah, actually, does Gorilla Glue count? Yeah. It's actually... Dude, someone did that. Uh, Perfect <laughs> beside an HB and old uh, YouTube so channel that was doing jackass operation. shit. Quarantine and the one dude glued his mouth shut. He had to go to the doc. He had to get surgery to get it off. Be ready for anything. What's the plan? And he also shoved a cell phone up his ass and had the no to get that. Wait a minute. Wait, no. No way. No way what? We stick to procedure. We'll get through this. They got banned for oh. YouTube because their shit was a bit too crazy. Oh, God. I'm scared. What? You're actually scared? No, I think my controller might have drift. Which, if that's the Why case... Why are the DualShock's controllers, so, or DualSense controllers, so fucking expensive, yet their freaking rehability sucks? Because I prefer my PlayStation's in black. Oh! Oh, we gotta respond from Chris, from Cryptically. No, lol, it was earlier, made an ill-advised turn and hit the brake so hard my engine died in the middle of the road. <laughs> oh. You what? Oh, that sucks, man. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> you guys are okay. I've been in car wrecks before, and they are terrifying. Yeah, we're just glad he did it. We're just glad we weren't the re we weren't we weren't the reason. Have you ever been in a car wreck, Shinigami? Um, almost a bunch of times actually. While I was like going to out, out of my town, because essentially. I've never been in a car wreck that used my phone as evidence. Because here's the thing. Remember, what evidence? Uh, essentially, I was uh, the day I was almost in a car wreck. Um, it was the day I got my PC. It was like we were leaving Best Buy. It was right when I got my PC. And as we were driving, a car just fucking flipped right behind me. And I freaked the fuck out. And my mom was scared, Dude. my sisters were freaking out. And Dude, you know whose roads are terrifying? My brother's roads. Every time it snows, you see people getting into multiple accidents. Dude, mine are fucking horrible. Um, like the next town over, um, dude, that fucking hellhole has a shit ton of accidents. Speaking yeah, of which, Pennsylvania mountain roads make me want to shit my pants because not only do you have to worry about cops and avalanches, they're like Japanese roads where they have like a fucking guardrail and there's a fucking mountain valley below it. Oh, that's fucked up. Look, it's a baby. Kill the baby. Developers are able to predict what their players are gonna do. Like, you know what I would do if I made a game? You know, like every player always tests to see if fire hurts you. Which is, you know. I would, Just, add, uh, I would make fire not hurt you, but I would add an achievement as soon as you touch fire. It's like, I knew you were going to do that. It's like, we had a feeling you would. <laughs> It'll be fucked up. Imagine, the, imagine it would be a dick move for players that are like that. And imagine, it would just be the fire just insta-kills you. <laughs> Even worse. Then you get an achievement saying, like, good job, asshole. It's like, good job, dumbass. Fire, And it's like, look at that. Fire does... Now what do we learn? And then just the subtitle is just like, fire burns you. That's the perfect achievement. Now what did we learn? <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Dude, I, you can't really make like dick look. You can't really make like good achievements anymore. It's like all fucking... And skill based. I, got, I miss I miss old 360 achievements. That now what like, you can do oh, is you that... Oh, character's skirt? That's now on your record forever. Oh, like what can you can... What you can do is essentially just like code in like a little, like you know how some games have like triggers. 
Like, if you walk into a fire, a trigger activates, and it's like, you just burn to death. And it's like, now what like, did we learn? What did we learn? <laughs> <laughs> and then YouTube just says, good job, asshole. It's like, good job, now you know fire burns. <laughs> No, and it's like, no, and it's like now you know fire burns. No shit. <laughs> fire doesn't eat her. Or call it fire. Yes, fire doesn't eat hurt you. What have you got on you? I think my control might be having drift. Really? Are you I fucking shitting me? What's like another thing that we do in games? Oh, monsters. don't we always like swim off to the edge? Fucking monsters. Yeah. Did you hear anything? What? I'd be like, no, I have an achievement. Like, out. hey, there's I no sea monster. Fix it now. You wasted your time. Yeah, it's there. Where is it? Wait, were the only two that made it out? <laughs> what was your mission just to check on this place? Yeah. Oh shit. Go! Fuck, 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 fuck! I remember this from there. Oh, she's dead. Oh! No, Isaac, dude! Bye bye! The fun thing about the fire thing is that's an achievement that you're gonna have on your. That's one of those embarrassing achievements you're gonna have on your record forever. Because it's like common sense. Uh, the achievement's called common sense. Fire does burn you. Oh, I make an achievement called common sense is dead. Blow yourself up with a grenade. That'll be funny. You only get it if you hold it if you took the grenade too long. No, that's funny. Like, common sense is dead. I'd either call it common sense is dead or what the fucking asshole. Is that armor? It's the original armor. No, it's the original texture, the original everything. This is what the original rig looked like. Yeah, we should keep that on. That looks pretty good. Nah, no, I don't like it. It looks too goofy for me. Leave it. Chat, opinion on this. We're playing dress up chat. New armor or old armor? They also released a deluxe version that has even cooler costumes, and one of them even makes Isaac look like a corpse. It's. Yeah, it just seems to be strapped a bunch of metal plates on it. I like a new one. I mean, yeah, you need. I mean, probably what he did is to find make makeshift armor. That's what they did in medieval period. They literally just put metal plates on themselves. It's like, oh, arrow don't go through metal plate. I'm gonna put that on myself to not die. <laughs> Excuse me for having fantasies. Everyone does, dude. I've been really into you lately, surprisingly. Hello. Oh, shit. Look at her. Look at that. She's infected. No, she's they dead. Look at what's impaling her. Yeah, hit our teeth. Put her out of her misery. Or that. Oh, my God. Flip her head off. Ooh, rifle. Mine now. The basic bitch assault rifle. Let's go! Alright, let's say an ugly alien on that same ship comes up to you and asks the same question. But if you have sex with her, you won't die, but you'll get like $10 million. Yes. You'd have sex with the ugly alien? Yes. Hey, you never know, right? They could probably be even better. But what if she was willing to bite your dick off? Not like I plan on having kids. <laughs> Who are you gonna pass that wealth on to? My adoptive kid. <laughs> oh, my adoptive kid. It's like, it's like, yeah, I can adopt. Adoption's a reason. Adoption exists. Oh shit. Hey, bud. Okay, that's, um, 
Oh shit, cryptically you subscribed! Thanks, man! <laughs> bought it was because I bought the, PS, the uh, PC port of Dog and Rotten was getting cancelled because there was like rumors going around. Oh. I feel like I got my money's worth out of my PS4, but not my PS5. Well, I mean, there's barely any games on the PS5, so... Also, look what Cryptically said he... Remember that alien question you asked me earlier? Uh-huh. Cryptically said he'd do it. <laughs> it's the best sex of your life. Yeah, he... Yeah. Either I'm just immune to horror or something... At some points, or... Oh, my chat is fucked on my end. Or, or the game is not scary. Either or. Like, I wasn't really oh, nervous dude. with Silent Hill 2 either, because we were playing that together, and I wasn't really nervous from playing it. Wait, see so you chat on your end? My YouTube chat's not updating. Oh, I can see it. Maybe we gotta, like, reset chat. Sometimes you gotta do that. Is there a way to do that for the Just slide up, I guess? Oh, messages. Oh, it was set the top messages. I'd bag that alien. Wouldn't we all? <laughs> yeah. Still holding this position. Pretty cool. We can make like there. zero graph changes you find the cold? by just manipulating. No sign over yet. But I found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay, work fast, Isaac. This what zero grab chamber is. It's just a wind tunnel. I'm scared. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have. I'm scared of those. They're fucking cool. There's one you could do near my brother of the domain. It's like three or four things. It's so fucking awesome. Dude, I'm scared of those. Where are you? Where are you, you fuck? I think you knew it. Oh! There you are. Assuming that's the assault rifle. Yep. Where'd you go, fucker? Alright, you have to go... You have to work on a spaceship for a year. Engineering, maintenance... Would you want to be a bridge or, um... Engineering, maintenance, or the bridge? Like, navigation and stuff like that. Bridge. Uh, that's the only appropriate answer because most maintenance and engineering person, most maintenance and engineering personnel in Star Trek end up dying brutal and horrible death. Of course they do. Yeah, this is why I say. First off, little fun fact, chat. When this game, when we started this earlier on today, this man said he hates the way the HUD is done. Which is like, why? I don't know, it's like, it's too for my taste. I need that information, like, right in front of me. Or my autistic caveman brain will not be able to make heads or tails of it. Because your ADHD would just be looking at everything except Isaac. Yeah. Oh, so did you know, people with autism have caveman DNA and Neanderthal DNA. Took one step out of the captain's net to chin that thing. So that means you're a Neanderthal. I tracked yeah, anyway, zero, 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 point one percent. This is fucked up. Hurry, Isaac. Pulse rounds so I can find. Oh, by the way, this is infinite ammo glitch. I infinite money glitch I found. So um, you can use that later on if we're running low on cash. Oh, do the chase infinite money glitch. You will go to jail. Oh yeah, didn't people start doing that and they That's were getting amazing. fucking fine. <laughs> That is check fraud, that's not a glitch, idiot. You know what my nickname in high school was? What was it? Dino Dick. I know that's some bullshit. There's a story behind this. So, I was the only one who had a phone with Siri in high school. So what my friend, well not my friend, my weird ass high band acquaintance did, was, uh, I wasn't in the band. They invited me to join as a singer, but I said no. Uh, but anyway, uh... Are we lagging? It says YouTube is like... YouTube is not receiving enough video or some shit. Yeah, someone took my phone and made it call me Dino Dick and it kind of stopped. Well, that's funny. Yeah. Hey Siri! Oh, shit. 
What's my name? Hey, just dox yeah, yourself. You just dox yourself. I think fix that. Oh, this game is monster rooms. Oh yeah. The monster closets. Yep. Why? Why not? <laughs> It's a survival horror game, it's not a dungeon crawler. It's heavily inspired by RE4, so expect a lot of combat, so the game expects you to just hope you can make it I can through. tell it's an over-the-shoulder shooter, which RE4 perfected. Was well, RE4 like one of the first third-person shooters to like perfect the crap? Max Payne. RE4 created the modern third-person shooter. A style of shooter we have been using ever since. And that has since been outdated. By what? All the Gears of War clones. See, I actually think RE4 system is better than Gears. No shit. I mean, if you, I mean, if demons were ever to come here and hurt one of my animals, oh, you better believe I'd build a chainsaw and fucking multiple round. Multiple guns. I'd be like, who's getting some? Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, the only good demon's a dead one. The good old fashioned guy behind, behind, dying behind the window trick. Apparently, our gun cannot break through windows. Well, I mean, that's what Dead Space was built upon the physics and the gore effects and the lighting system. Like I have Dead Space 2 on the on this machine, so I can definitely boot it up to compare. And yeah. Oh god, his head's gone. There you are. His brain coming out. I, a baby. Yeah, it's a baby. Ew! Yeah, it's a baby. Gross. <laughs> It's not coming out of nipples, so you're not disturbed. You're my pet now. Let's go, play. let's go, baby. Do they explain how these things are made? Yeah. Assuming it's through text. No, not through text. It actually, explains it to you. Dead corpse baby. What is it? It's a corpse baby. Yay! Corpse baby. Corpse baby. Corpse baby. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the bit. Kick the baby. Actually, can I hold on? That's the closest we're gonna get. That's the closest we're gonna get. Stomping it. I said kick the baby, not stop its brains out. Jesus, man. What's the difference? The difference is the video game child protection services are gonna be on our asses. Let them come. I'll throw the Let baby. Them come. I I'll dare throw the them. baby at them. I'll throw it at them. I'll throw the baby at them. Damn it! Now it's... I want to make a guy in a suit that says video game child protection. It's like that, it's like that one scene from the. It's like that one comic panel where it's like you can't shoot me or tase me because you'll hurt one of the babies. <laughs> China that pays for it. I mean, considering the fact that most of Asia is basically just shut in virgins, yeah. I think here they pay for that too, but it's not that much. I like how Asia's problem with population is literally just people aren't getting enough kids. <laughs> people aren't fucking enough, so there's not enough time to fuck or raise your kids. Exactly. Weird conversations we always end up having. Yeah. Like, we just come up with the weirdest shit somehow. When did we start talking? Like, when did I bring up Condor? I don't know. Are you on your pills? You were yeah, why? Okay, cool. I wanted. I just wanted to make sure you were, you know. More so than usual, because I actually remember to take it this morning. Chat, what are you doing for Halloween? I'm going pumpkin picking with the fam on next week. It's gonna be great. Go and get some cute pictures of my nieces and nephews because it's gonna be adorable.
also going to try and find a pumpkin that's like 20 times bigger than my head and attempt to lift it. Because I am a real man, damn it, who doesn't need no small pumpkin. Those pumpkins are for pussies! You find the biggest one, you lift that shit up, and you fucking fireman carry that bitch to your car. No excuses, no ifs, no ands, and no buts. You prove your masculinity right there on that pumpkin farm by finding the biggest motherfucking pumpkin you could find. Back. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Back, bitch. Oh, Jeremy, I'm assuming you heard my discussion about pumpkin picking. Uh, no, not really. I'm gonna find a pumpkin that's massive and I'm gonna lift that fireman carry that bitch all the way to my car. Somehow. Some way. Somehow, some way. It's gonna be funny as fuck. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be fucking hilarious. All right. That always used to do. Let's keep going. All right, now that we saved, and let's do this. How long is this game? Like ten hours? Yeah, ten hours. This is long. The uh, it's ten hours, and they charge seventy bucks. Oh shit! Why in the hell are they charging forty for this? Because it's a full-on remake. And also because it's EA. You're, it's not like you're meant to play this over and over again. No, you are. First time on hard mode, second time on like maybe impossible. Maybe hard mode, maybe normal mode for regular playthrough. Hard mode if you're ballsy enough. Maybe again if you want to get the achievements for all like the upgrades. I mean, you gotta play it for the corpse, baby. Corpse, baby. Yeah, corpse, baby. I'm gonna be stuck in my head for the next few weeks, you know, you know that, right? You're welcome. Uncomfortable to watch. Oh, the room was a weird movie. But yeah, the, uh... The cube is basically, these people are stuck in, like, this massive alien superstructure. And they have to find their way out, but 90% of the rooms will kill you. Reminds me of a game that and a lot of people used to play back then. Yeah, there was a game based on it. Like, based on the movie. No, there was another movie. Um... Just to remove the battery. Okay. Yeah, basically most of the rooms would literally cut you up with lasers. The for that movie were really good. God damn it. Corpse, baby! I love what's Cthulhu in nature yet, that's corpse, baby. Ow! Hit me. Oh, there you are. Stealing corpse, baby! Corpse, baby! Corpse, baby! Oh, it's because I grabbed the wrong thing. I can imagine back at base. Have you seen our engineer? Uh, I think he's trapped with some god, god awful monstrosities on a random spaceship. Should we go rescue him? Huh? No. The guy's a dick. <laughs> guy's an asshole. He ate my fucking Chia pet. It's not even food. ER, hallway A. Yeah, uh, like so was the station just like one of those like stations that people lived on for a while? It was a it was a it was a mining ship. Of course it was. Fun fact: the actor for Isaac was like on an interview, and he talked about like, oh, um, um, hi, um, hey, buddy. Well, someone was depressed. Not cool, That's man. Not, not cool with the voices. Not terrifying at all. That's Wait, totally. was she possessed or something? Uh, she went crazy. Oh, it's you. Hey, corpse baby. 
Quit it! I don't. Oh, I'm not. I'm not giving you milk. No. But it wants your delicious blood milk. Can't have it. Wait, am I out of ammo? Oh. Oh, it's that. I'm mean, out of ammo. Horror games do that. Oblivion did that, and that's not even a horror game. All right. Also, this also apparently in an interview with the devs, I found out this scene was a bitch and a half to animate. How was it? Apparently, this whole scene was a bitch and a half to animate as a whole. How was that? Damn. Body horror on this place is incredible. Such a long lens. No shit, it literally says cut off their lens. Oh, no wonder! That explains a lot, actually. What? Um, why there were so many corpses in here. It's that thing infecting them. There, there you are. Quit turning them, you prick! They'll turn as many as it wants. Are you gonna stop it? Yeah. I wanna know who the babies were that were turning the corpses. Actual babies, probably? Yeah. That's fucked up. I mean, that's the whole premise of Dead Space. Whatever you think bad happened, it did happen. Sci-fi hard. Yep. And that's the point, right? Bob and Wee. How we got to those sports babies without knowing about it? I played the shit out of it. Ha ha! Fine.